Hey everybody, it's Paul. Today I want to talk to you about golf shafts and specifically the different specs of a golf shaft and what they do, what they mean, what they do in performance wise and how utilizing them can help your ball flight. So stay tuned. So the first component that I want to talk about is flex and flex is the bending ability of the shaft under a specific load. And usually the faster the swing speed, the stiffer the shaft requirement. However, tempo also plays a part in determining the correct flex. And we can have two players that swing at the same speed, but one gets to that speed faster than the other one. So it's like driving a car fast off the light versus slow off the light and getting to the same speed eventually. So the person that plays the shaft and has the faster swing will usually tend to require a little bit more of a stiffer shaft so that they can correct and control the bounce at the top of the club when it transitions. Um, so it all comes down to the speed and how you get to that speed, how fast I get to that speed. So not all swings are the same when you measure with club head speed. And that gets us to the next part which is um, how that flex influences a shaft. And this is one that I've covered many times, but I'll keep covering it because a lot of people still get it wrong. And that a shaft that is too stiff for you will tend to lag behind, the head will lag behind and not catch up and it'll stay open. So a shaft that's too stiff will usually tend to produce a slice. And a shaft that is too flexible, the head usually tends to jump out and get ahead of the club uh, and close it and produce a little bit of a hook. So the goal is to find a shaft that loads and unloads at the correct time based on your swing speed and your tempo and one that stabilizes the head and allows us to be as close to square as possible. So that's the first thing we do. We look at flex, finding the flex that's right for your swing and your tempo. So the next component of a shaft fitting is finding the weight the proper weight for the shaft that allows you to control that club. Now shafts come in a wide variety of weights and they're usually measured in grams and you'll have 45, 55, 65, 75, 85 and so on and so on up. Now remember a 5 gram weight change is the weight of a 25 cent piece. So when you're changing a shaft 10 grams it may not feel like very much to you because it's not very much but it does have a difference in your performance. So generally the heavier the shaft the stiffer it is because they're using more material uh, to make that shaft so it ends up being a little bit more stiffer, a little bit more robust. However, most manufacturers ensure that when they make a shaft and if I make one say in a stiff that they'll make it in several different weight categories in that flex so that someone needs a stiff but a 55 is better than a 65 or a 65 is better than a 75 then they have that option. Now what I have seen over and over and over again is that when you change weight a number of things have a significant change in your swing and it could be swing path, it could be club speed, it could be tempo, it could be uh, you know your path, your club face, uh, all these things can change when you change weight. So sometimes these results can be the result of changing shaft weights by as little as 10 grams. So being able to find the right shaft weight allows you to feel where the head is a little bit better in the swing and allows you to control your tempo and your pace. So shaft weight is our second one. The next component of shaft fitting and the one that's overlooked by most people and one that's least understood by most people is the torque rating. Now torque is your resistance to twisting. So the higher the number on a torque rating, you know, like five degrees or four degrees is how they measure them. The higher that number, the more that the head will twist on the shaft when the shaft stays stable. So your shaft is rotating open and closed. And a good example for this is if you go to a, uh, uh, say, a department store and pick up a cheap driver, a $69 driver or an old uh, beginner driver, and you go to waggle it, that whippy feeling that you're getting, that is not the flex. Flex is not torque. What you're feeling then is the head flip-flopping, opening and closing, opening and closing. And with very low-end graphite shafts, that torque rating is very high because there's not a lot of really good stable material in it. So you can take a club and you can twist it like this and have it rotate back and forth quite a bit. And as you get into more premium shafts, 
there's less and less of that. The idea of torque is that the higher the torque rating, the more the head will open and close, and the less torque rating, the lower the number, the less the head will open and close, rotating back and forth like this. Now, there's a reason that they make shafts with different torque ratings and that high doesn't necessarily mean that it's bad. High means that for someone who's having trouble closing their face, that extra movement of the head swinging around can help them square up the club and offset a big slice. Whereas someone who's really fast and really aggressive might need a stiffer uh, torque rating so that that head is not opening and closing as much. But the idea is to find the one that during your swing, when we have the right flex and the right weight, we match it to the right torque rating, allows that head to stay stable and square at impact. The next thing we look at is the tip stiffness. So you'll often hear that it's a tip stiff shaft or it's a soft tip shaft. What that means is that at the tip down here by where the head joins, is that it's either more flexible or less flexible than other parts of the shaft. So a shaft that is tip stiff won't bend very much down here, which means that the head stays fairly sta stable and doesn't change loft very much as it's swinging. It doesn't add or take away very much. A soft tip allows the head to close and open in an upward and downward fashion a little bit more. So for somebody who's needing a little bit uh, help getting the ball up in the air, a soft tip can actually add loft at impact. Whereas a tip stiff will kind of keep that from swinging along and can kind of keep the head pointing a little bit more neutral. So if you're an excessively high ball hitter, then what's usually recommended is you go to a tip stiff shaft because it's not adding loft to it at impact. So this is another thing that we look at when we're fitting to make sure that we have trajectory and spin where we want them. So there are many aspects to finding the correct shaft to optimize your ball flight. And overlooking one or more of those aspects can have a significant effect on your ball flight. And we also need to keep in mind that there's no industry standards. So one company's specs may not match another company's specs. For instance, one company's regular could possibly be another company's stiff or another company's senior flex. There could be a wide variety of different in specs but usually inside the brand, there's consistency. But outside the brand, they may not all be the same. So just because you played stiff in one club doesn't mean that you're going to automatically be stiff in another club that has a different type of shaft in it because they're not the same, they're not the same specs, they're not the same tolerances. And that's why it's so essential to get fit for your shaft to make sure that you're not just going on something that you had before. And when I do a professional fitting on someone, I take into account all of these. I take in finding the flex that allows the club to load and unload. Finding the tip stiffness that helps us keep that trajectory window that we're looking for as, as far as launch. Keeping our torque rating so that we get that head opening and closing as close to neutral as possible. Uh, finding the weight that allows you to control your swing and produce a more consistent path over and over again. All of these things come into effect rather than just saying, well, my buddy's swing hard and I swing as hard as them and he's got a stiff so I'll go stiff also. There are so many variables. Now when you take all of those and then you start changing the head also, you can imagine how one can affect the other one. If I change the loft of a head, then my shaft is going to make a big difference also if I'm adding loft to it or if I go to a less weight or if I go to a different torque rating. So finding something off the shelf is really really difficult but if you get fit, you've got the data in front of you and you know whether it works or not. So thanks so much for watching.